up everybody it is Royal J and I am back again with another video another final unboxing so let's go right ahead and get into it today I am coming to you guys with another classic yes I have on the same shirt whatever blah 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 I don't care uh, <laughs> doing all the videos at the same day as they come okay so I just unboxed Mary J Blige uh, What's the 411 vinyl? So now we're about to get into another classic, which is World Class Wrecking Crew um, and Michelle A. Turn Off the Light. So I grew up listening to these types of songs. I'm only 23, to let you guys know. Okay, I'm only 23 years old, but I grew up listening to, thank God for my mother. I grew up listening to good music, old school hip hop and RB and stuff. So this is just natural for me like vinyl and, and all of this stuff and turntables and stuff like it's just natural for me because I grew up listening to old school music and I just carry it with me and I still listen to it every single day like all the time so this is not 90s this is actually 80s so it's um world class record crew with Dr. Dre and a few other people I don't know their names I'm not even gonna be I'm gonna, I'm gonna just be honest and then me, uh, Michelle A. And if you watch the documentary Surviving Compton, you would see that she was in a studio with the guys and she sung the song and everything and they loved it. So it was a scene where they call her, I think, Mickey Mouse or something like that. Minnie, I think. I think that's what it was. So yeah, we're about to open that. But before we do, make sure that you guys like, comment, and all that good stuff. And yeah, let's go right ahead and get into it. So it has a fragile label on it and it's stamped fragile and I love that. Cause a lot of my vinyls that I did get, a lot of them don't have fragile stamp on it. So that's a little bit creepy to me, but so far everything's been good. I haven't had any bad experience like that. You know what I'm saying? With any damage as far as like breaking or cracking or anything like that. So no complaints. So ooh, my edge was on here. Mm -mm. So I'm about to Slide it down, gotta cut the tape. Alright. Ooh, child. The tape. And I got it from Discogs, by the way. So, shout out to Discogs, they are the plug. I'm a little bit upset, because it, it is some albums on there that I want, and I'm willing to pay for, but. At the beginning, I didn't know, and that's something I'm gonna let you guys know too. If you planning on uh, collecting vinyl records and you get on Discogs, do not place an order and not pay within four days, okay? I didn't know what to do, you know? I just was seeing them and I was adding it to the cart and was like, just placing the order to see how much it would be like with shipping and everything. Cause you know when you, you know when you get something offline, you, do the order and everything and it goes towards the end and it add up with the shipping and everything so I'm thinking that's how it works but I didn't know they once you put the order in they make up the price for shipping so sometimes I would see a vinyl and it would be like twenty dollars and I placed the order and I'm like okay well what happened like why I don't see the shipping or nothing or nothing like that and then I would get an invoice that would say shipping is like $15, $30 or something. And I'm like, oh, well, wait a minute. I can't pay for that. I'm not going to pay all that money. So I would just ignore it, not knowing that it can affect me. So what it does, if you don't pay within four days, the seller has the choice to give you a bad review and say that you didn't pay. And when you don't pay, it's certain albums, because certain sellers, they have uh, like something set up where you can't buy you can't place orders for certain albums because you don't meet the requirements of the ratings so I was very irritated I'm like oh my gosh like no this is messed up so I'm, I tried to create a profile and I'm waiting on the uh, waiting on the activation but yeah if you do not place an order unless you for sure so what I do now I just write them before I place the order like how much is the shipping going to be because I don't want to place the order and it be too much and I can't afford it. So just write them first and ask them how much is the shipping and then in that moment you can determine instead if you can, you know, afford it or not because you don't want to place the order and then they put that you didn't pay. You know what I'm saying? And Because it, it will affect you, okay? So, yeah. But, um, 
I just had to let y'all know because I didn't know that I was just learning on my own. I have like two negatives and two positive reviews. So hopefully I get a few more positives and be able to, you know, buy certain albums again. This is a used vinyl, by the way. It's not new. Um, I don't even think they make these anymore <laughs> because this album, like this little uh, EP or whatever you call it, is very old. It's 80s. So, they ain't making no more of these, period. So, Peanut plus Brandy? I don't know who that is. Maybe that was the owner prior. Their name is Peanut and Brandy. I don't know. But, <laughs> but shout out to Peanut and Brandy. Okay. So, this, that's what I mean. So, this is the disc right here. And this is the sleeve. So you see Nisha laying in, in the middle, Dr. Dre up here on the side. Um, so yeah, it's called Turn Up The Lights. You have A side and B side. It has the, the different versions of it, the instrumental and the, the song. So, yeah. This is it right here. My mom played, stayed playing this song, so I was like, oh, I gotta get it. I know she'll love it. Especially me, because I love this song. So, let me put this right here and take the disc out. So, so far, it's just like a few scratches I see. Um, I hope that it's still good though. Yeah, I hope it's still good. But it's just a, like a few scratches on it. Um, not too bad, but it's one long, like, long scratch, but it's not as deep. So I got this from eBay, you guys. I think it was like $10. No, I don't think it was, was it 10? I think it was $10 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so. So yeah, that was, uh. So that is World Class Wrecking Crew. Turn off the lights and I cannot wait to spin this to hear how it sounds on my turntable and through my speakers, okay. So. Slide that in there. And that's it. Alright, so I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and all of that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one.